example run okay, let's go So here are nine interesting facts about Angkor Wat. It is the largest religious monument in the world. It's nearly 400 acres in size. You can say it's almost like 300 football fields. This is only one of two countries in the world where an actual monument of the country is featured on the national flag. The other one is Afghanistan. Angkor Wat is a Buddhist temple today, but it was originally built as a Hindu temple or a Vishnu temple in particularly. And it was it's, called Vishnu Lok. Yes. Height of its existence, this temple was painted with vibrant colors and barely any of the paints remain today. We are now at the top of the temple inside the sanctum. Inside the temple, there are so many different inscriptions and carvings, but the entire design of this temple points towards one thing and one thing alone. Even though it's a Buddhist temple and Buddhism derives its roots from Hinduism, the story underlying all of this construction is that of Mount Meru, the mythical mountain where the gods are said to have lived in Hinduism. So this temple is shaped in that particular design and then every layer represents one layer of Mount Meru. This temple was built by Surya Varman the 7th during the 12th century, so it's almost a thousand years old.
Historians argue that at least 5 million tons of sandstone rock were uh, excavated from the nearby quarry of Nom Kulin, which is also supposed to be the holiest mountain here in Cambodia. And all of that rock was brought here on thousands of elephants, on rafts, on the, on the river, and basically they were put together and this temple was built. So incredible. The tallest tower of this temple is more than 65 meters in height. It took about 37 years for them to finish the construction of this temple. But what's really impressive or rather very interesting is that most temples in Hindu and Buddhist culture uh, take after the Hindu Shastra like rule that says all temples must be east facing. This is one of the rare few temples that's actually west facing which is why at sunrise you'll see it's so popular because, it's the, because the sun rises right behind the temple. You would have never pictured Angkor Wat to be this empty. Just look at how many people there are and this is like, you know, peak time of the day. There's hardly a few people walking on this. Last time when we came in 2017, this entire pathway was so packed with people. Could barely stand or get a seat somewhere to sit and enjoy the views. I came here in 2017. I had dengue. So I literally came here. Uh, I just came and I sat at this particular spot and I didn't see anything here. Namuni just went in so quickly. He was in and out of the temple, I think, in less than 15 minutes. I had just seen this view last time. But this time, we spent almost two and a half to three hours here and I thoroughly enjoyed the temple. It's a beautiful one. This temple has 516 faces of Buddha sculpted on it.
we are supposed to climb this now. Come on, now need. He is there. We need to climb another set of steps. Now at the top of the Bafon temple. The Bafon temple is supposed to be modeled exactly after Mount Meru with the distinction of seven levels. And uh, it's a very steep uh, incline to come up here. So they put steps that are almost like ladders. And then once you come at the top, most of it is rubble. But you can see that there used to be something like a GoPro here. And there are pillared pathways all around in a you know, rectangular formation. And it's incredibly hot today, so it's, it's really hard to be up here. Shishira gave up, she's uh, sitting downstairs at the mid-level. I just came here to show you guys what the view looks like. Entire set of temples within Angkor Thom are unique because Angkor Thom itself was the capital of ancient Khmer kingdoms. So Angkor Thom is actually this entire walled city inside which you find the Bayon Temple, the Bafun Temple, the Elephant Terrace, the Feme Nakas and the Royal Palace. So all of them are obviously in uh, terrible ruins right now but because of restoration work, both the Bayon Temple and the Bafun Temple are in excellent condition. So you can really enjoy uh, you know what that era was like to some extent over here. These kings over here were worshipped as gods which is why all the faces you see inside the temples if not Vishnu, Shiva or Brahma they are Avalokiteshvara or basically all of these are avatars of Buddha as what the locals believe these are. Bye, Mr. Uthia. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Hope to see you again. Yeah, bye. We decided now's the time to refresh with some real good food, with some good food. So we come here to the restaurant that we really like. We really miss this place. We came here five years ago. It's called Viva Mexican. So they make really good, delicious Mexican food. Uh, it's at the very beginning of Park Street, so it's not too far from our hostel. We just walked here, came here now in the heavy rain, and we've got a table. And we're gonna have some Mexican food.